The essence of Relay is celebrating, remembering and fighting back. And I think if you keep those three points in mind, uh, you're well on the way towards a successful Relay. I got sick in 1996, the end of the year, and by the time I was seen by doctors and everything else, it was um, January 1997, when they discovered I had a tumour in my, uh, behind my breastbone. Um, sent to Dublin, and after six weeks of a lot of prodding and poking and surgeries, they uh, discovered I had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And from there I went to the oncology unit, I had 12 sessions of chemotherapy and 20 sessions of radiation therapy in St. Luke's and uh, I'm here now to tell my story. I find it very emotional, number one, because it's very personal for me and um, it's fun though, it's the actual fun. We're after spending the last hour now doing our walk and we never even felt that hour and we left the whole yeah. way around it. And it's just waving at other yeah. people. There's people sending the side of the track, giving me sweet strings. You know, everyone just... So it is very friendly and it's fun. My name is Ivana and this is Aveen and our team's name is Eddie's Rockets. My uncle owns a shop and his name is um, Edward, so we came up with Eddie's Rockets for that reason, so yeah. <laughs> We both know people who've had cancer. Um, my auntie had breast cancer a few years ago and there's a big team of us. There's 14 on our team and all of us know at least one person who's had cancer. So we said we put a team together for that. Really in personally, yeah. because I got to go home and say nothing was wrong. I went through the scare. But I got to go home and say, I'm fine. That's why I'm really. But for me, everybody has been touched with cancer. Um, my grandmother, my uncles, and it was very hard when I saw my grandmother. And when, when Noreen said it about what we can do, they said, God, we have to be part of it, you know? Well, I really, firstly, because I am a survivor, and 14 years ago, I was diagnosed with a cancer in my mouth and I conquered that with the help of the medical people and the doctors and my family and my friends. And I decided, you know, uh, when God decided he was giving me back a voice, I was going to use it and there's no better way to use it than read it for life. That's about really creating a positive outlook and a hopeful outlook for cancer sufferers and for the population at large because roughly one in three are affected in one way or another by cancer. Today has just been magic. It's absolutely, when we pitched the tents from last night to today, it's just, it's electric. You can feel the energy, you can feel the po how positive people are and especially when the actual survivor's laugh kicked off, it was just brilliant. To actually see people who have suffered so much and to actually give back, just see them, just smile and just be happy and they, they know they're being encouraged and then you had the carers come after it and you now all the funny guys then afterwards but it was just, it's... What funny guys? <laughs> For uh, a person who has cancer to succeed, they need a lot of support, they need a community of support within their own family and in particular within the family of the carer but they also need the broader supports from the community, from the close community and also from the, from the wider local community. The, the candle of hope gives um, the families and the friends of cancer sufferers or cancer patients uh, an opportunity to remember them in a special way and an opportunity to participate in a ceremony. And again, for ceremony to be successful, it needs to be a shared communal experience. I mean, essentially all religions, if you think about it, uh, celebrate uh, in community and emphasize community when they're celebrating. So I think that's the essence of, of, of the Candle of Hope. I think one of the things that, that has struck me very strongly about the Candle of Hope ceremony is the amount 
that of emotion and energy and love and concern and respect that people who buy a candle of hope and inscribe the, the bags put into the whole action. And if you watch during the, when the ceremony is over, when, when the candles are lit, and you watch people going around looking at the candles, searching out their candle, and remembering a loved one. The whole relay experience has just been fantastic. It's um, one of those amazing things that happen in your life. You meet fantastic people, you make new friends. Um, I've been to Carlo, I've been to Ballinasloe, I'm hoping to go to Dundalk. Even our own relay is just, the buzz has just been fantastic and rewarding and everything. It's just brilliant, brilliant. I would say relay is the magic in my life now and I'm going to relay till I'm a very old lady.